Can you believe my bow has what? My melody. Hello everyone, it's G here and welcome back to a brand new video. And this is episode one of my Maid Cafe Diaries, which is a brand new series that um, I had on my list for a long time now. So I'm just so excited. So for this episode, we are going to cover outfits, hair, makeup, and um, kind of setting up my Instagram, even though my maid Instagram is already up, if you would like to follow it. Um, I'm probably going to be taking you guys with me as I try and film my first reel, like my first reel reel for my Instagram. So yeah, but first I'm going to show you guys my maid outfit. It's so cute. Um, I already have a bow for it and I'm also going to show you guys accessories and where I got them. So here is my maid outfit. It's so cute. I got it on Amazon. Um, this is a 3XL, even though it doesn't really look like it, but I've had to return like three maid outfits because it just didn't fit. Um, this bow is actually a hair bow, but I just kind of like ripped off the old bow and put this one. It's so cute. Look, it even has a cute My Melody. Um, so that's it for this one. And then this is the petticoat that I got. I actually got this on AliExpress. I'll put all the links down below. I'll also be putting pictures of me wearing the outfit all together. Um, this is actually surprisingly super puffy. I wasn't sure what to express, expect because it's from AliExpress and I just, I thought it was going to take forever, but there's so many on Amazon as well if you don't like trust AliExpress. So, but this one, I really like this one. Oh, and it also has like this tie. You can like tie it around. It doesn't make it like tighter because it's already like stretchy. So, and this is why I really like this one because it's like super stretchy. And these are the shoes that I picked out. So these shoes are from Shein. Um, I'm like I said, links will be down below. I do not recommend these socks though. Um, only because these socks are like super small. Like you see how it's like rolled up right here? Like it looks weird. Um, I don't, it's like, I tried to like move around with the socks on and they were like rolling down. So I decided, um, I'm probably going to go find them, um, legging high, like thigh highs. It, they're like leggings that have like fake socks so it's just like you put on the leggings and it looks like you have thigh highs on i'm gonna do that um they're letting us wear black and white black or white and i'm going with white so yeah this is what it looks like um it's just you, honestly you can't even tell unless you come up really close and you're like oh those are actually leggings i think this would be a better alternative honestly I mean, unless you have like thinner legs, then yeah, the individual socks works. But I feel like when you have like thicker thighs, it's harder, in my opinion. The next thing is the headband. This actually came with my maid outfit. So um, honestly, these are just all the extras that I bought. Um, like I said, I'll be putting all the links down below. Like, look how cute this is. This was actually supposed to be like my main bow, but they're actually pretty small. So I'm putting them on the sides of my headband, so. They're just gonna be like that. Um, and then I'm also doing like an angel demon type theme for my maid outfit. So I bought these really cute clips. They're so cute. They have like a little heart on them. Um, and then I also bought the little angel wing one too. So it's gonna like go like this. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, it's gonna go like this. Like, isn't that so cute? Okay, and then I bought some KF94 masks just because they told us that we need to be wearing high quality masks. So I bought some really cute pink ones. Um, and then the next thing I got was safety shorts um, to wear under my petticoat and my dress. Um, these, this one actually has like a pocket on the side so I can have my phone, but I did also pick a bag. And then here's my bag of choice that I'm going to be carrying around, um, not on me during the cafe, but um, what I'll just be using as like my to-go bag. Um, so this is the stuff I'm going to be carrying around um, just around the convention. Um, so if you see me and you see this bag, <laughs> that's me. Um, but this is like my just going around bag. I have my actual maid cafe bag. I will show you guys soon. But this like, look at everything's so cute. I got this little um, Laura Manic um, keychain. So cute. I love Berry and Cherry. And then I also got these really cute Homura and Madoka clips. 
Um, actually have my girl too, Unha from Vivi's and you friend. And then all these just little clips. We have Johan, we have Johan again, a little seal. Oh, and then Splatoon as well. And then, um, it's from Omo Cat, but I forgot. Um, and then it's, it's, it's freaking empty. Um, but yeah, this is like my traveling bag. Oh, and then this really cute candy. And then this is my Maid Cafe bag. Um, so she's not the cutest, I know. I'm still on the fence if I want to still use it. I need to make her cute. Like, maybe I can, like, fabric glue some, like, frillies around here. And maybe put more keychains on it. I'm not too sure. I'll figure out. Look at that Makima. So cute. Um, I'll figure it out. Um, you can fit, like, a good amount of stuff in here. Like, my phone and all kinds of stuff in there. So I want to see if I can really make it work but it was within the centimeters that they provided in our uniform submission form. So it works, we'll see. You know, I was actually really wanting to make this video like a while ago, but I didn't want to make my Maid Cafe, my first episode of my Maid Cafe Diaries till I had my stuff, but it's just so much has been going on and just a lot of stuff has been happening. And Fanime is like, two three weeks away like it's actually two weeks away actually so i'm a little nervous but it's gonna be good um if i could give you guys some clarity or um, background on the maid cafe process for fanime is so basically we are we had a we had two discord meetings so all the communication is through discord super easy honestly i've been using discord since i was like in high school so it wasn't that bad um we had two mandatory calls um we had one for just like etiquette and what are we going to be doing in the maid cafe and then the second one was like phrases how to say the phrases and um dress code and then we also had a um, uniform submission where we had to submit um what we were going to wear if it was allowed um all the accessories that you want and stuff like that um Oh yeah, we also had like a maid cafe outing too. Um, it was a lot of fun, I went. Um, and then, I mean, the only thing right now that we're doing that I sadly cannot go to is the photo shoot. So they're gonna have a photo shoot um, actually May, it's tomorrow actually. I can't go, so, but it's okay. It's been super fun, like everyone is super sweet. Our head maid, Midori, is super cute, super nice. Um, she's the one that actually interviewed me, so, um, and she also, like, commented on my, um, on my YouTube, actually, on my YouTube Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, um, so, yeah, um, I wish I could have, like, filmed a lot of, like, the stuff that was going on, but my life has been fucking hectic, so, um, but as of right now, I've showed you everything that I've purchased you know, for the Maid Cafe. I think the only thing that I haven't done, oh, also, I forgot to say, when you have your full outfit, you're supposed to submit like a uniform check photo so that you're able to, up, not upload, you're able to sign up for shifts. So I did it and I'm gonna be working a shit ton and I'm so happy. Um, since the Maid Cafe is gonna be operating on Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna be working um, morning and closing shifts. So so I, would, I wanted it that way so that in the middle, I could just take a really long break and go walk around, buy stuff, go back to my room, put the stuff away and then come back to go work again. Um, I just wanna be as much help as I can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be working Monday, Monday. I'm gonna be working morning shifts and closing shifts on Saturday and Sunday. I'm so fucking excited can't wait. Also, I've also been wanting to take pictures. I just, ah, each time I think about putting on my maid, my maid outfit and like putting on makeup, I just really don't want to, even though I really, really should. Um, I also, oh, I didn't even tell you guys my maid name. Uh, my maid name is Maid Valentine. If here's my Instagram, if you want to go check it out. Um, I will take you guys through the process of when I make my reel. Um, but I want to do it today, but I just feel like I don't have enough time right now because Oh, just a lot, of, a lot of events are happening right now, so I just I just know I wanted to make the first episode for my um, Maid Cafe Diaries, which I'm probably, like I said, the agenda is going to be um, items, makeup, 
and then now I just told you like everything that's happened in the Maid Cafe saga right now. Um, and then the second episode is probably going to be me actually working. Um, we also do have a mandatory meeting before the first day of Fanime. Actually, it is on Friday, which is the day zero of Fanime, actually. So um, we have a mandatory meeting on that day. So I'm excited. I'm also sharing a room with a bunch of other maids, um, three other maids. Um, they're super nice. They actually have done the fan maids a couple times. So I'm really happy to be um, sharing a room with people that already know what's going on. So I'm so excited. I'm the only Kohai there. So yay. Hey everyone. So, okay. So it's been a week or two and I finally have my whole outfit on. Um, this is what I look like. This is how I'm going to have to look like during the maid cafe. Um, I'm actually about to film my, oof, how do I? Right here, I'm about to film my um, my intro video um, for my Maid Cafe Instagram, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm just a little embarrassed. I don't know why I'm in my own place. I don't know why I'm still embarrassed, but I think I look so freaking cute. I'm gonna add some accessories, maybe like right here, right here. Maybe I'll add like a little like bunny. I bought like this cute little bunny um, pin from LA. Um, I just came back from LA actually, so these lashes are killing me. I might just rip them off, but I need to film my video, but yeah, um, this is what I look like. Um, um, not a lot of prep has gone into anything, honestly. Um, the event, I mean, the cafe is literally this Friday. Um, well, our mandatory meeting is on Friday, so I'm like, why haven't I not made any time for the maid cafe, even though I've been wanting to make cafe for so long and like, I literally cannot make time, but this is me making time now. So this whole week, um, I've taken a few pictures. I'm gonna take more later because um, I look too freaking good to not take pictures. Um, I'm gonna make some checkies um, for my friends and um, for my boyfriend. And I don't know, like if some people, I don't know, like me as a maid, I will probably give them a checkie. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm like just like, I'm just so fucking happy. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna film my video and I'll show you guys and then we can like just die together. <laughs> 200 clips later and we're finally done. I just finished taking some pictures. I'm sweaty and disgusting and like, I didn't know how fucking long this shit took. Oh my fucking God. And you know what sucks? It's that it's on my freaking iPhone. So when I'm done editing, um, I'll put it up on the screen um, and we can like watch it together. Um, or it'll just be like a black um, like the walls will be black and then there'll be like the video uh girl it's just it's just doing too much or I mean yeah no we can react to it together but um oh my god I'm like dead um but that's it for today um I don't know if I'll have any more prepping this is kind of like the final stretch that I was doing or that I wanted to do was um, I know I, sorry, I didn't film the process of making the video is that I was using my iPhone because the quality was better. Um, but ugh, there's some really funny takes on this freaking, um, phone. So, um, sorry, I'm just like really, really shiny right now. Um, any other updates that I'm going to be doing? Um, oh, I'm going to be adding some more accessories to my outfit and then I'll ask for it to be approved. Oh! I actually got my shoes, I got different shoes this time because the shoes that I originally showed you guys, they were too big. So um, I made my first Baiyi order and I'm actually gonna be wearing these Dear My Love shoes. They are, they are so cute, look at these. So cute, the bow actually goes on the front part, but look how fucking cute these are. I'm gonna be wearing these instead of um, my loafers because they're too freaking big, so. Um, yeah, that's the only other modification that I made, but, um, during the week I will, um, catch up with you guys to show how my maid outfit looks towards maybe, like, Wednesday or Thursday, because by Wednesday I want to have, or Thursday, my outfit to be done, like, done, 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 um, and then I want to edit the video, try and get it up on Friday, and then start filming for the freaking <laughs> cafe so i'm so so excited so sorry if this video is super slow super short i mean not slow but short um it's just that i need to do better at um managing my time because it's been a it's been a really rough month um couple months actually if you've been watching my videos it's been a really rough couple months um and this eyelash is just 
has a mind of its own, say love. Um, I will talk to you guys in a few days, okay? Angel demon, out. Hello everyone, so it's the next day and um, I got a lot done. Um, I finished all of my fucking checkies. Um, I spent, I think, about two or three hours at work decorating these hoes and they're finally done and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's look at these together. Okay, so this is my photo album, photo, photo card book. Um, I have this one too, it's super cute. Look at it, so precious. Ah, okay, so I have this one. They're all of me. Anyways, um, let's look at them. So I think they came out amazing. Like, so cute. I put my little at in the back. So these are just so fucking cute. Look at these. I bought these cute little sleeves. Like, clear sleeves to put in them so that the, um, um, what is it called? The marker doesn't come off. Dude, this one is so cute. And then... I did about nine of these. Um, some of them are like really clear pink or I mean light pink. This one's so cute. The bunny didn't stay, but it's okay. And we have this one. This one too. Oh, this one's really pretty. I fucked up with the bow and had to put like two little dots. It looks kind of funny, I know. Oh, and these ones are for my boyfriend. Um, these ones look like this. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I I don't know. I was a little embarrassed because I was like, not me holding a whole book of photos of myself. But anyway, she looked good. She looked good. Um, I was going to show the video. I'm going to post it right here um, if you want to watch it. I think it's like 15 seconds. Um, Yeah. Hi guys, it's me Valentine here, and can you believe I'm gonna be a fan of this year? I'm so excited. I hope I can see all my Is lovely done? patrons. Okay, it's done. Um, but yeah, that's the video. I think I'm gonna post that on tomorrow or Thursday. I'm not too sure. I just posted a picture on my um Made Cafe, Made Cafe, on my Made account. I just posted a post from all the cute little pictures that I took yesterday. Like honestly, yesterday was such a mood. Um, sorry, I have a stream going on in the back. I just, uh, there's like no one home. But um, anything else for the agenda? I need to finish my fucking videos from May. Um, but I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll just do them all on Friday. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that's as much made stuff that I'm going to do today. Um, I just want to show you guys my checkies. I wish I could have filmed me decorating them, but I forgot my freaking iPhone at home, so I couldn't have you guys with me on the journey, but it's okay. Um, they're done, and oh my god, my boyfriend's cat is like going crazy. Um, look at that. So cute. It's gonna be the end for right now, and I will talk to you guys during the week, okay? Look. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Okay, I'm not going to show myself because I look like an absolute mess, love. But, I like, it. honestly, it just doesn't feel real. I'm going to start packing everything up to, like, go today. So the agenda today is... Ooh, maybe I shouldn't lay it like this. I'm just like this. Okay, love, okay. The agenda for today is I need to work a little bit because I'm working from home. So I need to work. Then we need to go to Daiso. Then we need to pack. Um, also, um, a lovely maid on my team purchased these two, um, pieces for me. So, um, I'm going to be packing those up for her. So sweet. Um, another one of, uh, my maid cafe girlies purchased a clip for me too. I was so sad. I was supposed to make her a green one. I just didn't have time and I ran out of resin. And, um, yeah, I did, I did a bad. So, it's okay. We could still provide her with the other one that she wanted. So, I hope that is okay. Thinking about bringing my Eda bag and then, oh my god, all my, dear my love, Liz Lisa clothes is right there. Um, I need to do a haul. Like, I'm gonna, this is a video in the making. Okay. Um, I need to pack up all my makeup. It's all strewn right there since Monday. Um... I need to at least clean up this room a little bit, um, because it's a, it's a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess. Um, but yeah, that's the agenda. So we need to work a little bit. Oh, I need to eat something too. So work, eat, Daiso, pack. I could actually do packing before Daiso, so eat. Okay, work, eat, pack, Daiso, and then 
Um, we'll fit editing into a little bit over here, but yeah, you guys get the gist. So I will see you guys probably when I'm packing or when we're at Daiso. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I have my outfit, my shorts, all my little accessories, my leggings, a hanger, cause, oh, <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't wanna take any of the hangers from there because what if the other girls need them, so I'm bringing my own. Um, I need to shower and like do other things before, you know, I start putting all my makeup and stuff away, but this is where we are. Okay, so my suitcase is full. These are the shoes I'm gonna wear. I wanna pack like my Crocs or something, but I'm not, I'm not too sure, um, but this is it. I mean, maybe I'll buy merch and stuff like that and it can go in the suitcase or whatever. Um, my school bag or my maid cafe bag, it's a school bag, a job in a school bag, but um, it's pretty much filled with stuff. Um, these really cute lashes that I bought in LA. Um, yeah, I have like just a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, I do have clips. Okay. But, um, I did put hair ties, like all kinds of stuff. Um, I have this, like my makeup, my mirror. Um, what else? Oh, I have this really cute mirror too. It's like my Melody head. That's about it, to be honest. I don't, I really don't know what else to bring. Um, I have pajamas. Um, my hands are freaking red from dyeing my hair. Also, look what I found at Daiso. I found this really cute photo card holder. It's a like Karomi and then, so my friend wanted, um, one of my checkies. So I put one of my checkies in here. It's so cute. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to give her this one. She's going to come to the cafe on Sunday. So I'm so, so excited, but look how cute it is. Ah! Hello everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> so much stuff has happened i'm literally deceased i'm fucking tired but i will give you the rundown um of everything and then i will end this video um so basically i went to daiso and i wasn't even thinking because it was already 3 30 and i needed to leave at four um went to daiso bought a bunch of like ucc coffees morning breads like some snacks and stuff like that um my hands are still a little red not too much um and then i got home and just like brought the daiso bag and then i put everything in my suitcase my boyfriend brought me taco bell I was like and then um we left and then it was like 15 minutes till we were almost there because i already told staff that i was gonna be late because there was so much traffic there was like four accidents and then, um, so then it was like 20 minutes till we get there. I forgot my fucking petticoat. My boyfriend is going to bring my petticoat later in the night, um, because he's busy tonight. And, um, I forgot my fucking petticoat. Like, I see, I knew I was forgetting something. It's okay. At least the petticoat will be here later tonight. Um, I was 40 minutes late to the freaking meeting. Yes, I was. It was at 6 and I didn't get to the meeting until 4. I mean, sorry, 6.45. Yes, I was. I was so late. Yes, I was. Oh my god, it was so bad. Um, Luckily, like, there wasn't really anything that I didn't already know from, like, the, the Zoom meetings that we had or the Discord meetings that we had. To this, like, other ballroom or, like, hallway room. And they talked to us more there. They introduced all the staff. Um, you know, there was just, it was just so much going on. Um, people were leading me the wrong way to go get my staff badge. That was really annoying, honestly. Um, they were like, oh, go outside. And I was like, okay. So then I went outside. And then I was like, hi, I'm just trying to like know where I get the staff badge. And they were like, oh, you go inside. And I was like, Okay, so then I went inside and I was like, hi, like, do you guys know where I would go to, like, get a staff badge? And they're like, oh, I don't know. I was like, then why the fuck are you, why the fuck are you even helping anybody? Oh my god. I was just like, and then my Daiso bag broke. It was just a lot. Luckily, I kind of went where, like, the volunteers were. And then, um, which was in a, was in the Marriott. And, um, I think, was it in the Marriott? I don't fucking remember anymore. They're, they're, whatever. But I went into, like, one of the volunteer rooms and I was like, hi, 
um where do you get a staff badge for the maid cafe and they were like oh the maid cafe is different you want to go on the other side and i was like that's great i'll go and they're like oh we'll walk you there i was like even better thank you and then um so they were just showing me where to go and then i went there and luckily there was another maid there so i was like i'm not alone i'm not the only one who's fucking late the elevators were fucking full so we had to go down the stairs so i had to carry my little luggage down the fucking stairs and stuff and then we finally got there and there was like so many people and i was like oh and then i just kind of like took a little seat and i was done so and then by then i found um my mentor i found her and i was like yes um and then this other girl i saw from um this little get together we had in valentine's day i saw her too and i was just like there was just a lot of moments where i was just about to start crying because one, I was already late. Two, I was carrying a bunch of shit. And three, it was fucking hot. And four, like, I was sweating and I was just, like, already anxious because I was already fucking late. And I was just like, why am I so fucking stressed out? And, like, five, I was just about to start fucking crying, dude. Like, it was bad. Finally met the girlies that I'm sharing the hotel room with. <sighs> it just feels nice to just now just relax. I have all my stuff, I hung up my maid outfit, um, kind of took out all my stuff, put my coffee to chill in a little fridgey, um, and now I'm just here chilling and waiting for my boyfriend to get here with my freaking petticoat because I'm stupid. But yeah, um, it's a very interesting, um, in, it's a very interesting introduction to um, fucking maid cafe, but yeah. Um, honestly, I think it would have been better if, um, maybe I took the day off, um, and maybe if I came on Thursday to get my staff badge, um, yeah, I didn't, I, honestly, I haven't been to Fanime in so long, it's been, it's been a minute, I think the last time I came to Fanime was, like, 2016 or 2017, I really don't remember, I think it was 2017, or 18. I don't remember, but it's been a minute. That's why I was like, damn, there's still a little people here, so fuck. Um, yeah, but this is the end of the Maid Cafe prep. Hope everyone has a good rest of their day, and um, cheers to oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna be a fucking maid. Like, I'm so excited and so happy, and I'm just so grateful that everything worked out in the end and now we can all rest and be prepared to be mates tomorrow. Bye! Boom! It's been like a month, almost two months almost, from Fan Maid Cafe. Hello everyone! So hello, um, I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be my overall experience for the Fan Maid Cafe. So the Fan Maid Cafe was a two-day event for Fan Maid. I know Fanime is from Thursday through Sunday, but the cafe only operates on Saturday and Sunday. My shifts were both in the morning, um, Saturday and Sunday. I did have a little emergency on Sunday, so I did have to leave early, so I wasn't able to do my last shift, but I did um, do my two shifts on Saturday and then my one shift on Sunday. And I'm so, so, so sad that I didn't get to really record during the maid cafe. We weren't really allowed to have our phones, but I'm gonna try really, really hard um, next time because I knew there was some little bit of times where I could have um, filmed, but it was my first time ever being in a maid cafe. So I was just, or, you know, being in the maid cafe, you know, I was just so excited, so happy. And I was just honestly really, really nervous. Um, I had a lot of anxiety, I'm not even gonna lie. I was like super anxiety because um, a lot of stuff was happening. It was the first time I was ever sharing a hotel with um, two other girls, or no, actually three other girls. Um, so I was just like, oh my God, my brain. So if you could tell from the last clip um, when I was in the hotel that your girl was pretty stressed and I was just, never on my fucking petticoat. Like it was just, it was a lot, you know? So um, let me just tell you my overall experience um, with the Fanimade. So my overall experience that I had I honestly really, really loved it. I wish I savored the moment more, honestly. And like I said, I wish I took more videos. Um, there was just so many of us, like there was over a hundred maids. Um, so there was a lot of, oh, um, there's people here, here, you can go do this, or you can go do that, or, or how about you go take a break? Like there was just a lot of downtime. 
um, where there was just so many of us where, you know, it wasn't like pressure to like, oh, go do a table. Oh, go, go take photos. Like, oh, oh, go do this. Like, it wasn't like super hectic. Like it was like very, very smooth. Um, I did do about two or three tables. So I was like, it was like really, really like nerve wracking a bit because, um, yeah, carrying a conversation is really, really hard. Um, unless like you start vibing with the like patron, then okay, you're cool. But other than that, like it was, it, it was just a very different experience for me. And I really, really liked it. And I really, really liked my outfit too. So I think feeling cute and then like being cute, um, really helped. But overall, like speaking and stuff like that, I was just like, oh my God. I feel like I look like an idiot right now. But most of the time, the patrons don't really know what's going on either. So they're kind of just going with you and like just going with the flow. They don't really care. They're just like here to have a good time. So that's probably the best. One of my friends did actually show up. I'll put her right here. Um, she did actually show up and um, she was actually um, paired up with two other um, groups. So it was like um a very diverse group where i like i didn't know who was who i'm so sorry like i didn't know if they were all together if they weren't i was just like okay let's just talk to like, let's just talk to you guys um i tried my best um i could tell i was just like really really like red and like oh i was just like so embarrassed but it's okay i mean it was my first time so i can't wait to do this again um overall i think the head made midori did an amazing 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 job like super sweet honestly the best had made honestly i do have to say um they really just made everyone feel welcomed and just loved in a way like that they, they were just i felt loved and hurt by her so yes um i also did want to show that she did also put my checky in her purse it was a little so fucking cute um in the video i did show that i made checkies of myself so yeah um <laughs> I, I did actually give them to a lot of the maids um, who asked and I was like, oh my god. So um, it was just it was just a really nice experience and it really showed me that there are so many nice people in this world and like not everyone is ugly and mean and stuff like that and ugly as in like just mean spirited or just like, you know, I don't know that I just I always come across people who are just not the nicest people and it really dampers on my spirit a little bit so being in a space where everyone likes maid cafe and everyone likes anime everyone likes cute stuff and video games and stuff like it just it made me feel understood and like people really get me you know what i mean and especially with the three girls that i roomed with bless their motherfucking hearts because they really like got me through that weekend like I love them so much. So if you guys see this video, I love you guys. Um, I just had an amazing time. I would definitely, definitely do the Fanime Cafe again. I think the only thing that I would honestly add to the Fanime Cafe is food because um, I've talked to um, another head maid of uh, Asayoru Cafe and she was basically telling me that food is like a very like important part of the maid cafe and that's kind of like, you know, I don't know. It's very, to just make the food all no way, you know? So I, I mean, I think that's probably the only thing that I would add to Fanime Cafe. But other than that, like the games and the, and the, um, what is it? The trivia games and stuff like that. And the pictures and the performances, like it's, it's all a lot and a lot of thought and like, um, you know, blood, sweat, tears go into the, you know, fan-made cafe. So if they can't do that, it's totally fine. They can get food afterwards, you know what I mean? But other than that, an amazing experience. I had so much fun. I hope next year I can be part of the fan maids again and probably film better. Um, I hope I see more videos of people like videotaping like the fan -made cafe and stuff like that, like people's actual experiences and stuff like that because I haven't really found any, honestly. So. I hope I can add more to the uh, Fanimade Cafe, like kind of YouTube sphere. So um, yeah, that's about it. So that's the end of my review for the Fanimade Cafe. If you guys have any questions about the Fanimade Cafe or Maid Cafe in general, leave a comment down below and I would love to answer your question. I hope you guys have an amazing time, an amazing day wherever you are. Make sure to follow my Instagram at softgoddess where I should update you guys on all of my 
YouTube-esque OTD. I'm getting more into fashion. So if you guys would like to follow my Instagram, all the links will be down below. All the music that I use is down below as well. I also have a Twitter if you guys want to follow my Twitter as well. My shop is on a hiatus right now. And I also have a TikTok. Um, I have a TikTok called Soft Parfait. So if you guys would like to follow my TikTok, the link will be down below. I post a lot of OTDs. Um, hauls, fashion stuff, manga, a lot of manga. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on my TikTok, so if you guys would like to follow that, please do. I'll put all the links down below, okay? And again, my angels, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, wherever you are, and I care about you guys a lot, okay? Bye!